Hello and welcome to a special edition of... Are we live? We're live. (laughs) We're actually dead. We are part of the eternal internet ether at this point. By ghosts we've been dead for 69 years. Someone in a thousand years, years, uh, some sort of uh, seven-dimensional anthropologist, is watching these internet recordings of primitive humans. And that anthropologist is a horse. (laughs) <laughs> my anthropologist is a horse <laughs> my teacher is a tomato and my lord and savior is a pea actually they recently did a, a christmas special and they sh- showed uh, baby jesus as a pea uh, against the creator's mom's wishes that they ever portray wow. the savior of humankind as a vegetable that completely derailed my god is my chiropractor joke i had lined <laughs> up and so now sorry. i just don't even know what it would have been that's so wild about the pee. <laughs> Pizzas. <laughs> Where are we? What are we doing? We are deviating from the norm this week, and I think for the best, yeah. uh, because we got one single comment last week that said, "You guys don't need to stick to X Mormon content. You have amazing faces and personalities, and we'd all watch you regardless." And we were like, <laughs> "Wow!" So Should we're we out? <laughs> we're stretching our wings, doing something entirely <laughs> different than Mormon content. We're watching okay. Christian content. I keep forgetting that VeggieTales is Christian. I keep forgetting that it's not just... I thought... Never mind. Michael, yeah. You're about I to... I thought it was just like a secular American like teaching life lessons thing. I no. didn't know it was Christian. These are vegetables who have accepted Christ as their personal savior. Though I don't know that he atoned for vegetables, so it is possible that they will spend eternity in purgatory or some kind of hell. I, I don't know. That fucking sucks I don't know them. the ruling. After everything they do for us. <laughs> yeah. We should well, ask Hank Smith what he thinks about it. I think he'd have a great response. Wait, what's the Hank Smith drama lately? I briefly oh saw like God. Evan Jones post a tiny thing that said that the third tweet contained like <laughs> something. Yeah, he retweeted this thing that was like, what if you were God and you were trying to hide the secrets of the universe from the normies? Where would you hide it? Inside the skull of Joseph Smith. And it's like, okay, this is like Da Vinci Code for for yeah. people who can't critically think you know and uh then but then it goes into the thing it's like where would you hide it in the skull of joseph smith that's right joseph smith is a direct descendant of jesus christ himself uh a chosen lineage of white people and you know it's and very Han- like caught up Hank in like said, like highly recommend reading this thread yeah. but it was like the third tweet in was like just absolute <laughs> sensationalist racist undertones like just Garbage. This is like one of the most popular religion professors at BYU, which is sort of a paradox. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, yep, yeah, welcome to our non Mormon related video. Yeah, we already derailed. We already went back on our covenants. <laughs> so you grew up with Veggie Tales. Yeah. Yeah. And today we're getting a lesson in loving your family, Baby Moses. Yeah. All right. Let's dive right in. <laughs> Babysitter in Denial. I have another favorite video of that same title. (laughs) Stuck in washing machine, help. (laughs) What vegetable is that? (laughs) It looks like a baby carrot. And I just think it's hilarious that this is a, so a Hebrew who has blonde hair. Yeah, um, okay. That was a choice, a deliberate is, is choice. Is this Moses' mother? I think this is Moses' sister. I don't presume to know the gender of a carrot. I always have to watch it. Miriam did this. Miriam did that. Miriam did this. Some lacrum. <laughs> Sorry, what's happening? <laughs> Everyone's got to get out of the water for what? The Hebrews got to get out of the water. A famous Egyptian is coming through. So it seems like they don't, they don't, are they separated according to, you know, types of vegetables? Are the peas the Egyptians and the carrots the Hebrews? <laughs> Is this unethical? Sorry, I'm confused. 
confused because she had that little green boat. Yeah, but she, she didn't just, have a baby. But she was wasn't just she playing like, in the water with her little wasn't toy boat. Wasn't she like, why do I always have to look after you? Talking to Moses, but Moses she, wasn't there. Yeah, she's just talking about the, you know, the baby. Hmm. But the baby wasn't there. Wasn't there, wasn't present. Marion, where have you been? I asked you to help me today. Nice part. You're in trouble. Don't call me Marion. You've got a lot of responsibilities now that you're a big sister. You have more to fix. Sorry, is the carrots mother a, a, corn? a gourd or a corn? Is she dre dressed in a cob? To, Maybe. To, to be determined. I don't, I don't even have a working theory. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't claim to know the mysteries of God and the gen how a vegetable relationship. Like, so this isn't out. a stoner show. This is for kids. This is for children, yeah. <laughs> About them just yourself. Now please go get your... Well, come on. Everyone wants to meet you. Oh, oh, he's a gourd. Oh, isn't the baby and I think there are probably of gourds. Yeah, maybe she's not a carrot after all. Maybe she's a gourd. Yeah. And maybe the blonde Just is... Just a really the... whitewashed carrot, which you wouldn't think was really possible <laughs> or necessary. But they all have blonde hair. Yeah, you know. In Egypt. <laughs> Jewish people are famous for their <laughs> blonde hair. Such a strong-looking baby takes after my side of the family. Why is everyone saying the baby? Can't they just say he? What are all these? Are they making points about gender? What's happening? <laughs> Could be extremely ahead of its time or extremely behind. We're about to find out. I'm still so puzzled about who all these. Vegetables are there's a gourd married to a cucumber and they Friends produce and relatives. Okay, okay, but are they they look like fingers, you know? Do you like? Marion, I want you to help feed the baby. Do I have to? You'll be taking care of the baby. You know, I will say she is being parentified. She shouldn't have to take care of the baby. She's clearly too young. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of on her side. I wonder if these vegetables were forced to have children that they didn't want to have. Makes you ask important questions about reproductive rights, particularly in the United States at this time. Yeah, and Monsanto. Fuck Monsanto. Fuck Monsanto. Oh, we're working, so it's never too early to learn. Whoa, they levitate stuff. These are telepathic oh. vegetables, sentient vegetables. Don't worry, sweetheart. That's just what babies do. All right, Pandy's over there. Time to get back to work. <laughs> what is Tyrant Peas? They're the French peas. <laughs> the Why Egyptians are, the French are French. in charge? <laughs> That's Pierre and Jean Claude. <laughs> I'm so confused about what's happening. I'm not thus far getting a lesson in loving my family. I think it's a subtle uh, dig at French being the antithesis of Christian American culture. <laughs> because they revolt. <laughs> They're the bad guys. <laughs> <government corruption. laughs> Why are they kicking everyone out of the baby party? Um, I don't know. I think they're about to inspect to see if there's, if Moses is a baby boy and if he needs to be killed for that reason. Oh, so you're not, they weren't supposed to have baby boys? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking because, you know, Pharaoh heard that he was going to be... This is the baby. same time as, like, Herod then? No, different stories. But similar, similar thing. Or, Why they always... oh, it was, it was uh, that the, the Jews, the Hebrews were becoming too populous. And the Egyptians were having a hard time controlling him. So all the ch male children under a certain age were killed. Is, did that really happen in history? No. None of this ever happened. The, <laughs> but isn't that interesting, though? It's always like, <laughs> they're always trying to stop boys from being born. 
Because then they can have the the ruling class men can have more girls and women. Yeah, but I think it was also like it was a revolution was would be nigh, and they don't want uh, fighters and more you know tough types. Mm. Again, this is all speculation because there is no actual history whatsoever that there were Israelites in Egypt. Like, we have, you know, we can look through the various ages that this is supposed to happen and you don't see it anywhere in, like, the architecture, the records. There's, I've done a whole video on this uh, called Why I Don't Believe the Bible. I'll put the link in the thing below. Why I Don't Believe VeggieTales. Why, why VeggieTales is wrong. Hannah Let's... Mount Spain's VeggieTales. <laughs> Baby's been born. Oh, oh, another baby. Let me guess. Another baby girl. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> huh. Ancient Hebrew vegetable boys all love baseball. Traditional gender norms. American conservative gender norms. This everywhere is, so innate <laughs> it's so bizarre that i don't have any criticism even i'm just like so just trying to like find You're the my anthropologist <laughs> like why are these peas french <laughs> all right let's go Jersey. wait is and if baby jesus is a pea as well doesn't exactly. that imply that he's egyptian and not an uh israelite it seems like the vegetable that you are is pretty interchangeable. I, I'm not sure if VeggieTales is canon. I'm starting to question. <laughs> Some yeah, artistic integrity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, statistically speaking, you'd expect to see a baby boy or two. No matter what, you can't let the girls... Can you put captions on? I just... Yeah, it's really helping me to understand what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hard to mouth read. But why? Miriam, please. This is the most important thing you'll ever do. The Pharaoh's guards must never find out. I'll explain later. It's a good girl. What is it, Miriam? Mom, it's just that you never have time for me anymore. Mm. I'd love to stay home with you and the baby, but I can't. Mm. Now take care of yourself and the baby until we get back. <laughs> I used to get all the attention until you came along. What good are you? Oh, not again. What can a baby do? There are songs. I didn't know that was going to be songs. Oh, yeah. I hope we get a silly songs with Larry. That's a fun time. <clears throat> Police invasion. Your mom is so cool. I got her one eight hundred flowers. Please support us on Patreon so I can upgrade to YouTube Prime. Please, God. <laughs> Go back to sleep, sweetheart. Everything's fine. I worked so hard today. Oh, I know you did, and thank you. But this is what you have to do for the family now. No, you guys chose to have another child. Don't put it on this child to raise the other child that you, the adults in charge of these children, chose to have. She's doing awful songs and everything. Like, it's <laughs> really not panning out well for you guys. Yeah, if a kid is that creative that early on in childhood, it's because something ain't right. They're having to channel yeah, a lot of energy. She's being really cringe, and it's going to reflect badly on you. I liked it better when I was the baby. Well, now you're the big sister. And being a family means taking care of each other. Mom, do you still love me, too? <laughs> of course, sweetheart. 
and that's love for your big brother Aaron after you came along. That's different. Who's Aaron? She has an older brother called Aaron. Moses has an older brother called Aaron. Okay. Something like that. Now get some sleep. Tomorrow's another big day. You watch the baby again for me, won't you? <laughs> mm, I'll do it for you, Mom. No, no, very unhealthy. Don't mm. love it. They're supposed to be slave vegetables. <laughs> they like, sure have a nice life. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, will you help me watch the kid? Oh yeah, you're great. It's like, like what Republicans think being a slave was like. <laughs> yeah, they're like, this is how exactly how the <laughs> Irish were treated. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Papa's favorite snack. Papa's favorite snack. I'd like to be spoon-fed hummus. Almost done. I, I thought think. this was going to be the story of Moses. I thought so it's too. It's just a Moses spin off. I guess. Fan There are so many Hebrews in Egypt now. He's afraid we might take over the country. Huh. So, Moses is the taking away all the baby boys. That's why we got so really hot. <laughs> We can't keep What's what we pray for every night. Just not safe. But where else can we hide him? It's got to be In somewhere the Pharaoh's guards would bed. never look. I think I know a place. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you expect us to believe it? In the story of Moses, it was the little sister who had the idea to send the baby down the river. I think in in the retellings, maybe even in the original, I can't remember um, his. His sister does it. I think in the Prince of Egypt, it's the same then. way. <laughs> I didn't know that. I always thought it was like the mother by Again, the water don't know weeping. If, actually, yeah, maybe it is. That's what I learned in it's school, but it wasn't very a very Christian. I just love how immediately they're like the daughter, the the child who like is barely understanding sibling relationships is like, we should put her in a river, throw her down the river, and the parents are like, good idea, you handle that. <laughs> they really trust her. It's weird. <clears throat> this story teaches very good uh, morals like just the idea that someone could think that maybe if they just put their baby somewhere else where they don't have to see it that then it will be taken care of and it will be okay uh oh What do you mean, no? Wasn't that the plan? Yeah, wasn't that why? Oh, what? <laughs> so the original plan was just to release it into the river? What? And it was like, oh no, now the Egyptians are gonna... I'm what? so confused. Was she just trying to hide in the reeds and then... But Moses didn't, get, didn't go down the river on accident, did he? No, I mean, this is... I think not canon. We have, have got to call it. Just inspired by a Bible story. Very loosey goosey with the <laughs> details. Chill out. I'm totally cute. 
keeping him. I'm gonna call him like Moses because we drew him up out of the water. So how do I? Are they trying to relate to kids? Or like, what? Why is this this way? I don't know. What vegetable is this princess? I think that they were like, you need to have some kind of personality, and the only one was like Extreme Valley Girl. They're Being working... defended by the French. What are these things? Uh-huh. Yes. I think I could find someone to take care of this baby. We're supposed to believe this woman is like slaughtering babies. Uh-huh. And then she's like, oh, I found this baby. And then this random other one is like, hey, I think I might be able to take care of it. And it's like so two like, and two. Okay, obviously right. yours. Bring him back when he can like walk and stuff. And if any of you are ever like harsh That was Moses' him, practice run down the river. your heads. I'm not sure how that would work. <laughs> and the princess said you could stay home and take care of them. You don't have to work in the brick yard anymore. What the fuck just happened? Our what was the lesson here? Moses is safe. Yay, we are so proud of you. I just love my little girl. God answered our prayers. Our child is safe. What about all the other murdered children? Oh, what was the what was the lesson here? Like the, it's just pro parentification, which is actually very in line with Christian values. Yeah, and just like, the Bible, the best story ever told. For reasons? Nine more seconds. <laughs> like, none of that was really like, because of anything that anyone did. Everything just kept kind of happening. I just don't know what the lesson was. It was like... Accidentally lose your baby brother on the river because <laughs> your parents allowed you to take... <laughs> sole custody of your baby brother as what I assume she's like seven or like nine at most um, what was the lesson and then like a, a an accident that would never normally happen happened I guess God answered their prayers that's but doesn't she have to give Moses up to the princess once he knows how to walk and talk uh, maybe that's another also episode what, what's that about like <laughs> why why <laughs> Like, oh, I found this random baby. It seems like it's yours. Bring it back to me when it can walk and talk. Like, why? It, I think because they can't talk about breastfeeding. And that's what uh, the story tells, was that oh. the Egyptian princess or whoever, queen, hired the wet nurse mother to mm. take care. Dare I say it, I feel like that had less of a plot than a Jack Whalen novel. Yeah. Like, I just, it was so flimsy. Oh, evangelical co uh, content is really, really bad. <laughs> it's like, it's so flimsy, I, like, don't even know what their logic could have, like, with Jack, I feel like we can always identify, support some Patreon, we can always identify <laughs> his logic, at least. Yeah. Even when it's absent. Yeah. But then, what was that? Like, what, I just don't know what the lesson was in loving your family. It was, no, it was literally just like, okay, how do we take a biblical story and just retell <laughs> it? for kids it wasn't really but trying to is, teach anything other than that like it says a lesson in loving your family <laughs> i was expecting a lesson a glimmer of a lesson an if, homage to a lesson if you love your brother and listen to your parents and do more than you should as a child on their behalf because you know times are hard and shit sucks and people are having kids and having to rear kids against their will so they can be workers and some uh celery's uh industrial hellhole then god will protect you when you mess up and when you're trying you know you're just trying to keep the baby hanging out on the river and you mess up and it floats over to the celery though it sounds like they've only earned themselves like two years with this baby yeah yeah like oh yeah but they're years. just like we'll think we're not even worried about that that didn't happen that part wasn't real well and the lesson is god will only do that i guess if your baby's gonna grow up to uh free the israelites from egypt all the uh, if you're not that one god's not gonna take care of you yeah, exactly. <laughs> so sorry <laughs> exactly so thoughts on veggie tales um it was a video we made this week and i think <laughs> it's good to mix things up no one and can say we didn't watch it. Well, you don't have to learn something all the time, you know? Sometimes it's just about, like, throwing yourself 
into the chaos, not not like surrendering the need for a plot or a lesson or meaning or any kind of categorization of vegetables or anything else. It just, you know, it's just like this is this was our trip this week. I am personally devastated that you didn't get to experience the real VeggieTales stars who are Bob the Tomato and Larry the Cucumber. Well, that's on you. <laughs> and because you really deserve to see uh, Larry the Cucumber. What so Bible song. characters are they? They're they're all types. Oh, they they're play like, them They're all. like the Bert and Ernie of VeggieTales. I don't know that reference either. Oh, Sesame Street, no. The Ant and Deck, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> The Bodger and Badger. <laughs> Some people will get my references and it'll be worth it. <laughs> Fucking loved Bodger and Badger. Presumably Bert and Ernie types. <laughs> I mean, let's, you know, let's finish by me showing you Bodger and Badger. How do I get right. this? Is this a touch screen? That's a touch screen. So used Welcome to things not being to touch the future. screens. Bodger and Badger, Bodger and Badger. Well, I think we get the joke. Um, <laughs> you know about Noddy? Mm -mm. You, know, you know about Bob the Builder? I do know about Bob the Builder. He built this country. He built this city on rock and roll. <laughs> okay, what was the thing you were going to show me? <laughs> Don't hug me, I'm scared. Should let's we do just, our little let's outro? Let's just do a little outro. Welcome to our little outro. If you want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon. Okay, we're going to go back to watching Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Love you, bye. <laughs>